بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی سیلف فانی احمد اینڈ آئی ایم فرام بایو ٹیکنالوجی ڈپارٹمنٹ ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیئر ٹو پریزنٹ مائی ٹاپک وچ از ڈائی امونیم فاسفیٹ ڈائی امونیم فاسفیٹ از یوزڈ ایز اے فرٹیلائزر ان ایگریکلچر اینڈ ان مینی ادر انڈسٹریز سو ہیئر از دا لسٹ آف دا کانٹینٹس وچ انکلوڈس انٹروڈکشن امپورٹنس ایز اے فرٹیلائزر ہسٹری سینتھسز اینڈ کمپوزیشن پراپرٹیز پیوریفیکیشن آف ڈائی امونیم فاسفیٹ manufacturing which includes phosphate rock mining phosphate rock beneficiation neutralization granulation finishing and the last point is handling mechanism of action applications safety precautions and the last one is the conclusion so here is the introduction of diammonium phosphate ڈائمونیم فاسفیٹ آئیوپیک نیم ڈائمونیم ہائیڈروجن فاسفیٹ کیمیکل فارمولا این ایچ فور ہول ٹو ایچ پی او فور از ون آف اے سیریز آف واٹر سالبل امونیم فاسفیٹ سالٹس ڈیٹ کین بی پروڈیوسڈ وین امونیا ریئیکٹس وتھ فاسفورک ایسڈ سالڈ دا ڈائمونیم فاسفیٹ شوز اے ڈس ایسوسیشن پریشر آف امونیا ایز گیون بائی دا فالوئنگ ایکسپریشن اینڈ اکویئن So this is the equation of the diammonium phosphate. This figure shows two ammonium cations and one phosphate ion. Importance as a fertilizer. Diammonium phosphate is a widely used fertilizer in agriculture and a crucial component in global food production. It's a versatile fertilizer due to its high content of both phosphorus and nitrogen to essential nutrients for plant growth. Diammonium phosphate is a water soluble salt that consists of two ammonium ions and H4 positive and one phosphate ion which is PO4 3 negative. This composition provides a readily available source of nitrogen and phosphorus to plants aiding in their growth and development. One of the key advantages of diammonium phosphate is its ability to deliver nitrogen and phosphorus simultaneously which is particularly beneficial for crops during their early growth stages when demand for these nutrients is high Additionally diammonium phosphate has a relatively low production cost compared to other fertilizers making it accessible to farmers across the globe However, it's important to use diammonium phosphate responsibly as excessive application can lead to environmental issues such as water pollution through nutrient runoff. Proper soil testing and application rates are essential to ensure efficient use and minimize environmental impact. Diammonium phosphate plays a vital ro- role in modern agriculture by providing essential nutrients to crops. promoting healthy growth and contributing to global food security so here is the history of the diammonium phosphate which is early fertilizer for production in 1835 gotthold esker pointed out the value of bone as a fertilizer and suggested a cheap and not too strong acid to decompose the bones before applying to the soil later in 1840 The Duke of Richmond stated that the fertilizer value of bones was due to phosphoric acid that they contained. The first commercial production of superphosphate was actually carried out by Sir James Murray in his pamphlet Advice to Farmers. The rise of diammonium phosphate higher analysis fertilizers incorporating both nitrogen and ph- phosphorus were the next step in the development of the fertilizer industry monoammonium phosphate map production began in about 1920 major diammonium phosphate dap production began in about 1954 Diammonium phosphate is now of course the most widely traded phosphate fertilizer in the world.
with about 31 million tons being produced in 2009. Materials of construction A lot of wood was used especially for floors and roof beams, etc. Today practically no wood is used for any purpose. Steel and concrete have taken over as cheaper and superior materials. As better stainless steels have become available, these have tended to replace line carbon steel in many duties due to lower maintenance cost. The plant that they operated back in 1975 had a very rudimentary measurement and control scheme. Such controls as there were tended to be operated in manual under the control of the operator who patrolled up and down the control panel which consisted of a few very large dials and some knobs. So there are also environmental issues. The plant that I worked on that time either had no detesting system or at best only a very rudimentary system to keep the working environment clean. The scientist says, modern plants are designed with dedicated dust systems with suction applied at all materials handling transfer points. So here is the synthesis of the diammonium phosphate. Diammonium phosphate is typically synthesized by the neutralization of phosphoric acid with ammonia. When ammonia reacts with phosphoric acid, so it produced ammonium hydrogen diphosphate. It is synthesized as and mostly used as fertilizer in food plants, agriculture, fire retardant, and in various industrial applications. So the composition of the diammonium phosphate is nitrogen used 18% and phosphorus 46%. The next one is the properties of diammonium phosphate. Appearance. It appears as white to gray granular solid. The melting point of diammonium phosphate, it decomposes before melting. Solubility Diammonium phosphate is highly soluble in water, approximately 572 gram per liter at 20 degrees Celsius. Hygroscopicity It absorbs moisture from the air. pH When dissolved in water, it produces a slightly alkaline solution. It ranges from 7.5 to 8. Nutrient content. It contains 18% nitrogen and 46% phosphorus, as above mentioned. Reactivity. It reacts with acids to form ammonium salts and phosphoric acid reacts with bases to form ammonia gas and phosphates. So the purification of diammonium phosphate is explained as it is synthesized from industrial phosphoric acid that contains large amount of anionic and cationic impurities which includes cobalt, copper, iron, manganese, molybdenum, nickel, zinc, etc. Consequently, all those impurities will be found in diammonium phosphate. However, the industrial diammonium phosphate obtained can be used as fertilizer but cannot be used for some industrial application like pharmaceutics and cosmetics. After purification, the price of diammonium phosphate is three times more expensive than the same product before purification. The procedure for purification of industrial diammonium phosphate is a recrystallization by using several, several mixtures of solvents. The physiochemical characterization of this fertilizer upstream and downstream from the purification through spectroscopic analysis and chemical analysis, which shows that the recrystallization eliminates impurities. So purified diammonium phosphate was obtained. The next main heading is the manufacturing process of the diammonium phosphate. The manufacturing process of diammonium phosphate involves several steps which are as follows. The first one is phosphate rock mining. 
Diammonium phosphate primary raw material is phosphate rock which is mined before deposit typically found in areas like Florida, Morocco and China. So this is the figure for the manufacturing of the diammonium phosphate and this figure shows many reactors, granulator and dryer which is used for the manufacturing of the diammonium phosphate. The next point is the phosphate rock vanification. The mined rock undergoes vanification to remove impurities and increase its phosphate content. Vanification methods may include crushing, grinding, washing, sizing and flotation. Neutralization. The phosphoric acid is then neutralized with ammonia to form phosphate, ammonium phosphate. So the reaction of the equation is Phosphoric acid reacts with um, two ammonia and produces diammonium hydrogen phosphate. The next point is the granulation. The, re the resulting product ammonium phosphate is dried and then granulated into the desired particle size. Granulation helps to control the release of nutrients when applied to soil improve handling, reduce dust, and prevent caking during storage and transportation. Drying The granules are transferred to a rotatory dryer or a fluidized bed dryer. In the dryer, hot air is used to remove excess moisture, reducing the moisture content of the granules to less than 2%. This step is crucial to ensure product stability and present clumping. The next point is the finishing. The, the granulated diammonium phosphate is often coated with a layer of clay and other materials or specialized chemicals. And the last point is the packaging of the diammonium phosphate. The final product is packaged into the bag, bags or bulk container for distribution and sale to agricultural markets. Throughout these processes, careful quality control measures are implemented to ensure the final product meets the required specifications for nutrient contact, particle size, and purity. Environmental considerations are also taken into account to minimize waste and initiate any potential environmental impact associated with the production processes. So there is the mechanism of the diammonium phosphate. Diammonium phosphate is a commonly used fertilizer rich in nitrogen and phosphorus. The first point is the nutrient source. Diammonium phosphate provides two essential nutrients to plants, nitrogen and phosphorus. Nitrogen is crucial for plant growth as its major component of chlorophyll. Which plants use for photosynthesis? Phosphorus is essential for root development, flowering and fruiting. The next one is solubility. Diammonium phosphate is highly soluble in water which means it can be radially absorbed by plant roots once applied to the soil. This solubility ensures that the nutrients are available to the plants when they need them. The next one is the acidification. When diammonium phosphate dissolves in soil moisture, it releases ammonium ions, NH4 positive and phosphate ions, HPO4 to negative. The reaction also releases hydrogen ions, which can acidify the soil slightly. The acidification can help in making phosphorus more available to plants, especially in soils with high pH where phosphorus tends to become less accessible. The next one is the nutrient uptake. Plant roots absorb the ammonium and phosphate ions from the soil solution. Ammonium is directly taken up by roots while phosphate ions may undergo various transformations in the soil before becoming available to plants. 
plant growth. Once inside the plant, nitrogen and phosphorus are utilized in various metabolic processes. Nitrogen is incorporated into amino acids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Supporting plant growth and development. Phosphorus plays a critical role in energy transfer within the plant, root growth, flowering, and fruiting. The next one is impact of diammonium phosphate on crop shield. The application of diammonium phosphate enhances crop shield by providing a readily available source of nitrogen and phosphorus, which are essential for optimal plant growth and development. It ensures that plants have an adequate supply of these nutrients throughout their growth stages leading to healthier plants and higher yields. The next point is the ammonium nitrogen. The ammonium ion, ions released from diammonium phosphate are radially absorbed by plant roots. Ammonium nitrogen is preferred by plants under certain conditions such as low soil pH, waterlogged soils or cool temperatures. It is directly assimilated into amino acids and proteins, supporting vegetative growth, particularly in the early stages of plant development. The next one is the phosphorus uptake. Phosphate ions from diammonium phosphate can undergo various transformations in the soil. These include reactions with soil minerals, precipitation or adsorption onto soil particles. Phosphorus availability to plants is influenced by the soil pH, organic matter content, and microbial activity. Acidification caused by diammonium phosphate application can help release bone phosphorus, making it more accessible to plants. The next is the root development. Phosphorus plays a crucial role in root development and establishment. Educate phosphorus promotes the formation of strong and healthy root systems, enabling plants to absorb water and nutrients efficiently from the soil. This enhances plant vigor, drought, tolerance, and, and overall resilience to environmental stresses, energy transfer, and metabolism. Phosphorus is involved in various metabolic processes within plants including photosynthesis, energy transfer as ATP, and synthesis of nucleic acids, DNA and RNA. These processes are essential for plant growth, development, and reproduction. The next main point is the applications of the diammonium phosphate, where it plays a very crucial role. Diammonium phosphate has several applications across various industries due to its properties as a source of nitrogen and phosphorus. Here are some of its primary applications. The first one is the agriculture which includes fertilizer. Diammonium phosphate is widely used as a fertilizer in agriculture to provide essential nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus to crops. It is particularly beneficial for crops with high nitrogen and phosphorus requirements such as grains, oil seeds, fruits and vegetables. Diammonium phosphate is available in granular form making it easy to apply to the soil. Phosphorus function is this to support root development, flowering and fruiting. The function of nitrogen to promote vegetative growth and green foliage. Food industry which includes food additive. In the food industry, diammonium phosphate is sometimes used as a leavening agent in baked goods. It reacts with alkaline substances such as baking soda to produce carbon dioxide, which helps dough rise during baking. The next point is the water treatment, which includes phosphate removal. 
Diammonium phosphate is employed in water treatment processes to remove phosphate from wastewater. Phosphate removal is essential for preventing eutrophication, which can lead to harmful algal blooms and oxygen depletion in aquatic system. The next one is the industrial application, which includes flame retardants and the metal surface treatment. Diammonium phosphate is utilized in the production of flame retardant materials. It can be incorporated into textiles, plastics and other materials to reduce their flammability and improve fire resistance. The next is metal surface treatment. Diammonium phosphate is used in metal surface treatment processes such as metal finishing and electroplating. It can serve as a source of phosphorus in chemical baths for metal surface coating and corrosion protection. The next one is laboratory and research, which includes analytical chemistry. Diammonium phosphate is sometimes used in analytical chemistry applications such as reagent for phosphor determination. It can be employed in methods such as chlorimetric analysis to quantify phosphate concentration in aqueous samples. Animal feed, which includes phosphorus supplement. Diammonium phosphate may be included in animal feed formulations as a source of phosphorus. Phosphorus is essential for bone development, energy metabolism and overall animal health. Diammonium phosphate, an easily digestible form of phosphorus for livestock and poultry farm. Mining, in which flotation agent includes. In the mining industry, diammonium phosphate is sometimes used as a flotation agent in the extraction of certain materials from ores. It can help facilitate the separation of valuable minerals from gang material by selectively binding to mineral surfaces. The next main heading is the application methods. Broadcast application spread uniformly over the soil surface before planting or as a top dressing during the growing season. Band application places in bands near the seed at planting time, ensuring that young plants have immediate access to nutrients. Foliar application dissolved in water and sprayed directly on plant leaves. Used when quick nutrient uptake is needed. Soil incorporation mixed into the soil to ensure nutrients are available to plant roots. So these are the some methods which are used for the diammonium phosphate. Safety precautions. When handling diammonium phosphate, it's important to take appropriate safety precaution to minimize the risk of accidents and ensure personal and environmental safety, which is very important. Here are some general safety guidelines. Personal protective equipment. Wear appropriate PPE including safety glasses or goggles, gloves, long-sleeved clothing, and close to shoes. When handling diammonium phosphate, this helps protect against potential skin and eye irritation. Every person should know these points. The next one is the storage. Stores diammonium phosphate in a cool, dry, well ventilated area away from incompatible materials such as strong acids, alkalis and oxidizers. Keep containers tightly closed when not in use to prevent moisture, absorption and potential contamination. The next point is the handling of the diammonium phosphate. So avoid inhal in inhaling dust or fumes generated during handling, mixing or application of diammonium phosphate. Use mechanical handling equipment or ventilation systems to minimize dust formation. Do not eat, drink or smoke while handling diammonium phosphate and wash hands thoroughly after handling. 
The next one is spills and cleanup. In case of a spill, contain the material and prevent it from entering waterways or sewers. Use appropriate absorbent materials, for example, sand, vermiculite, to soak up spilled material. Wear protective clothing and equipment during cleanup. Avoid generating dust and minimize skin contact with spilled material. Dispose of contaminated materials according to local regulations and guidelines. Fire and explosion hazards, which includes diammonium phosphate, is not flammable, but it can contribute to the intensity of fires if involved in a fire situation. Take precautions to prevent dust clouds or accumulation of fine particles which could pose an explosion hazard in confined spaces. Use appropriate fire suppression measures such as water spray, foam or dry chemical if diammonium phosphate is involved in a fire. The next point is the first aid which is important in every work point. In case of eye contact, immediately flush eyes with water for at least 50 minutes, lifting eyelids occasionally. Seek medical attention if irritation persists. If skin contact occur, remove contaminated clothing and wash affected areas thoroughly with soap and water. Seek medical advice if irritation or redness develops. If ingested, rinse mouth and drink plenty of water. Do not induce vomiting unless directed by medical personnel. Seek medical attention immediately. The last point is the environmental precautions. Avoid spills and runoff into waterways as diammonium phosphate can contribute to nutrient pollution and eutrophication of aquatic system. Follow recommended application rates and timing to minimize environmental impact and maximize nutrient uptake by crops. By following these safety precautions, handlers can minimize risks, risks associated with the handling, storage, and use of diammonium phosphate, ensuring safe working conditions and environmental protection. So, the last heading of my presentation is its conclusion. In conclusion, diammonium phosphate is a valuable fertilizer and industrial chemical with various applications. However, its handling requires careful attention to safety by wearing appropriate protective gear, storing and handling it responsibly and taking swift action in case of accidents. We can minimize risks to ourselves, others, and the environment. Additionally, adhering to recommended disposal practices and environmental guidelines ensures that diammonium phosphate contributes positively to agriculture productivity and industrial processes without adverse effects. With these precautions in place, we can harm, harness the benefits of diammonium phosphate while prioritizing safety and environmental stewardship. So here are some reference from where I took the whole material which I present in my presentation. So thank you so much.